All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota, and as you know, good morning, everybody. Um, today, we have a bunch of stuff to talk about, and specifically about Kylian Mbappe, but also today is a very important day. As you know, today we are presenting to David Alaba as a new player of Real Madrid. Actually, the event has been concluded, uh, I think it was about five minutes ago, and what we know now is that David Alaba will wear the number four in the shirt. I mean, this is very important because in reality, nobody knew exactly what was going to happen with the number four from Sergio Ramos. I mean, apparently every single player wanted to keep playing with the same number and nobody asked to Real Madrid to wear the number four. But finally, for any reason Real Madrid has decided to give the number four to David Alaba. I mean, from my understanding, if there is a player with um, experience enough, with titles enough, with age enough to wear that number, that important number, that, that iconic number, that is David Alaba. I mean, with the only permission of Nacho Fernandez, who is obviously older than David Alaba and has won more titles than David Alaba, and you have to keep in mind, David Alaba has been more important, has been playing in more lineups, has been featured in more lineups in starting 11s than Nacho Fernandez. I mean, he's been playing for Bayern de Munich and he didn't win like four champions like Nacho Fernandez did. But on the other hand, if you think about it, um, the relevancy, the importance of David Alaba and Bayern de Munich um, was significantly higher than the importance of Nacho Fernandez in Real Madrid. Because let's be honest at this point, I love Nacho Fernandez, but it is a reality. I mean, it is real to claim that Nacho Fernandez, his most important season was the last season. Because the previous seasons, he's been all the time on the bench. And with Sergio Ramos ahead of him and Rafa Ran ahead of him, it was very difficult for him to show everybody that he is also a very good player. You know what I'm saying? So with the only permission of Nacho Fernandez, I think that the best choice, the right choice for wearing the number four in Real Madrid is actually David Alaba. So I'm so happy for him. Apparently he has said that he was looking forward to play for Real Madrid. I mean, the kind of things that a new player says about his new team. I mean, he was looking forward to play for Real Madrid. He was always, um, you know, it's a kind of dream come true. He was always, uh, since he was a kid, looking forward to play in Real Madrid and things like that. You know, it's, this is very typical. This is very useful. So it's not a surprise for me that he said all these kind of things. And uh, apparently right after the presentation, he will join the rest of the squad in Valdebebas, where he will have the first session, the first um, uh, practice with Real Madrid, with his new teammates in Real Madrid. So very happy for it, very happy for David Alaba. I wish him the best. I really want to see David Alaba playing in his best version so we can see what is a um, former Bayern de Munich player like, because it is pretty obvious that nowadays Bayern de Munich and all his players are way ahead of any other when it comes to physical condition men the Bayern de Munich players are way ahead of any other single player in the world I mean in my opinion if you see to Coman if you see to Alfonso Davis David Alaba Robert Lewandowski uh, Leon Goretzka or even Thomas Müller they are in a great condition and in my opinion the fact that signing to the, the fact of the signing of David Alaba is pretty much because we will see for the first time in in so so long time a player who is in a great condition and actually I saw in the area a couple of videos about David Alaba working out with uh, with a personal trainer and he's great I mean the physical condition that he shows off every single day every single weekend in the field is not a coincidence I mean it's, it's because he's working hard every single day every single Wait, so, so happy for it and I want to stop right now talking about the presentation of David Alaba because my good friend Eric Guerrera, as you know, he is taking care now 
of the short clips in Real Madrid Hub, he will be talking about a little bit longer about um, the presentation of David Alaba. So now let's stop this topic here and let's get start talking about the important, super important meeting that there will be um, tomorrow between PSG and Kylian Mbappe. Of course, I really don't know if Al Khalifi will be there or it is going to be Leonardo who has to be there you know, negotiating with uh, Kylian Mbappe, the renewal contract and all the stuff, the, the, the offer that uh, PSG has made for uh, Kylian Mbappe to stay in PSG. I don't know who will be there, Al Khalifi or Leonardo. I wouldn't be surprised though if Al Khalifi w I mean, was there because Al Khalifi, uh, according to the latest information that I've been reading over the, over the last two weeks or something, Al Khalifi was a little bit annoyed by Leonardo because he was not getting what he really wants and is to wrap this up put it I mean come or bring this whole thing to an end and say okay we got it that's it no he was not getting that and apparently Alcala Ifi wanted to start to negotiate by himself with the family of Kylian Mbappe the new contract the uh, offer the renewal offer and all the stuff so I don't know who is going to be there, but of course it's not, it's not going to be the same if Al Khalifi is there or, for example, if Leonardo is there. I mean, Leonardo, it's a, I think he's a very experienced guy, but the problem is apparently he's not getting along with the family of Kylian Mbappe. So that is a very good point. It's a very good um, thing for Real Madrid because if Al Khalifi takes over the negotiation and starts the negotiation himself, we will have a problem because Al Khalifi is a very committed person and in my opinion he will give everything he got to Kylian Mbappe because the most important for him, the top priority for Al Khalifi is to renew Kylian Mbappe. So that is the first thing. Number two, most important, what is the initial, what is the starting point, what is the, the uh, starting position that PSG has in this negotiation okay let me tell you what today we saw that PSG has um, made or I mean it, there is a picture an official picture with some players of PSG with the new jersey with a new t-shirt of PSG for the next season and among these players we can see to Kylian Mbappe so the main implication that this image can have to me, it's pretty much because they are taking a kind of challenging position. I mean, for PSG, it's so important to retain Kylian Mbappe that they are willing to show off to all those Madridistas and Real Madrid included that they are willing to fight for this player to the end. And they are willing to put everything on the table and they will show everybody that they want to, re they want to retain the player and they will do everything everything I mean no matter what and whatever it takes to retain Kylian Mbappe because otherwise when a team is aware that has a player that wants to leave wants to quit wants out or wants to join another team what they normally do is to hide the player to cover the player I mean to put him out completely away from the public and media and stuff right but it's not the case of Kylian Mbappe because this is not the first time. Actually, Kylian Mbappe is the cover of the new video game in FIFA 22, and he's wearing the PSG t-shirt, right? So, in my opinion, PSG will not hide themselves. And of course, they will actually show everybody, including the Real Madrid, that they will fight for Kylian Mbappe. So that is going to be, in my opinion, the initial position of PSG in this negotiation. And then, on the other hand, on the Kylian Mbappe side, the position, the starting initial position of Kylian Mbappe and his family, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be very simple. It's going to be like, okay, I want to, I, I don't want to renew my contract with PSG because I want to play for Real Madrid. I don't, I'm not sure though that they will say that he wants to play for Real Madrid, but it's what is pretty sure to me is that he will say I don't want to renew my contract with you all guys so you better do something for example say that uh, maybe Mbappe says okay let's uh, 
I'm gonna finish my contract, I'm gonna keep playing for PSG until the next year, that's it. But I'm not going to renew my contract for neither one, two or three years because some information is claiming that Kylian Mbappe might renew but just only for um, two years right after the World Championship of Qatar so the uh, so he can be or still can be the image of the World Championship of Qatar because apparently for PSG is so important that the player um, you know become the most important and iconic image of the World Championship and things like that so I don't think so. I mean, I do think that Kylian Mbappe wants... I'm not going to say that Kylian Mbappe wants to leave right now, okay, PSG, but in my opinion, what he wants to do is not to renew his contract. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the point here is, for him, it's much more important to say no to PSG than say, okay, uh, I want to join Real Madrid. I mean, in maybe what he is thinking within it's okay i want to play for real madrid but i can say it i mean i don't i mean i can show up in the meeting and say hey i want to join real madrid i want out no because that way psg will have reasons enough to put you out of the squad for the rest of the season so it is not the most you know smart strategy he can have you know what i'm saying so in my opinion what he will say tomorrow it's going to be like, you know, I just w I just don't want to renew with you all guys. I mean, I, w I, I don't want to renew my contract. It, I mean, the time has come. It's a time for me to change. It's a different time. I want to try something new. I want a new challenge or something like that. But that's it. That's it. So that is, in my opinion, what the initial positions will like tomorrow in the meeting. We will be all the time listening different news and whatever something new we know whatever something new we learn from that meeting i will let you know guys because it is tomorrow is a kind of turning point tomorrow it's going to be a very different day tomorrow might be might become the day all those madridistas we have waiting for i mean tomorrow can be the day so i will keep you posted whatever it happens stay tuned to the channel all the time because i will probably upload more than one video um, about that so now let me know your thoughts about that of course 